hell are you looking at? like you are shit out of luck, beautiful. Now I'm gonna give you your C-section. You son of a bitch! Eat your vegetables. Four-year-old jack holes wearing ponytails. That ponytail doesn't make you look hip, young, or cool. Okay, it's coming. Come on, give me one big push. What a piece of crap. <clears throat> We're out of here. Sorry about the messy delivery, Mom. trying to kill this woman <laughs> something funny oh, I was just remembering a limerick there once was a woman who was quite big at she had three babies named Nat Pat and Tat she said it was fun in the breeding but found it was hell in the feeding when she saw there was no tit for tat uh, you have caused me no end of trouble but now I shall return the favor tit for tat That's the latest thing. The gun will only fire when it recognizes the thumbprint of the owner. That makes firearms safer and it cuts down on crime, too. <laughs> Who are you? Lady, what's your name?
Mr. Hero. Tit for tat. I was going back for a bottle. No, I got it. Yeah, I'm not the head honcho. Sits on his hands, warming them with his own exhaust while everybody else does the work. Every second counts, right? Now, how the heck did this happen, huh? Everything was going smooth at the safe house. Mm -hmm. When the woman draws a gun, I mean, who expects a pregnant lady to pull a piece on you, eh? And who was this man who was with her? I don't know. After the woman escaped, we tracked her here. Mm -hmm. This guy, he was hanging around at the bus stop. I mean, so we, we decided that we'd deal with him later, but we go after the woman. He gets in on the action. No? He, he took a gun, he started shooting at us, and that's... that's when you... you arrived. Okay. Take it easy. <clears throat> Sit down. <sighs> ah! Oh, you all right? <clears throat> okay. Are you trying to tell me that some bum came to her rescue? Well, 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 this is a fine mess, huh? I won't make this mistake again. Mm. Well, I got a piece of lead in my butt as a reminder. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can appreciate that. Oh, my ass! Oh. And let that be a reminder never to fail me again. Don't make me kill you to get the baby.
Back off. This deal is almost done. L look, I've already booked my flight home. Okay? Okay. I love you too. Yeah. Bye bye. You know why a gun is better than a wife? Hmm? Don't know. I mean, you can put a silencer on a gun. <laughs> <laughs> heading toward the park. Turn us around. Don't worry, kid. Someone good will find you. My God, look at this! Someone left a baby! Oops. Sideways. Mr. Smith? Where's Quintana? Wait, Smith, Mistress Dawn is with the customer. Wait, you can't go up there. Oh, yeah, baby. Smith? I like that, huh? Besides, I thought Mistress Mary was more your type. You can't go up there. I've got a bad boy on my Sorry, pal. The bar's closed. Hmm? Wait your turn, Smith. There's plenty to go around. Not for me, thanks. I'm lactose intolerant. Just send me what you want, Smith. Take care of this baby for a while. 
five grand. That should keep you off your back for a couple of weeks. Are you clean? You know I'm a good girl scout. So you'll do it. Vaffanculo. Screw yourself, Smith. For all I know, you snatched the kid. I don't want to be an accessory for kidnapping. I didn't steal the kid, trust me. Trust you. I don't even know your real name. Who are you really, Smith? I'm a British nanny, and I'm dangerous. Just keep the baby for one day, and you can keep the whole roll. Forget it, Dad. Fine. Ciao. Let's go. This lady's baby needs to be fed. Find me every wet nurse, lactating hooker, and mammary on tap in the city. I already told you, Smith. You're not welcome in the land of milk and honey. I need a little cream for my coffee and some answers. Ah. Ah. I'm sorry. Scram, fellas. Give me a moment alone here with uh, Cafe La Mama. Relax. Relax. Me a piccola troietta. <laughs> there was a man here with a baby not too long ago. Yes, a real jerk. He wanted me to take care of the kid. Uh, and what is this man's name? Smith. Mr. Smith. Hmm. <laughs> How the hell do I know his real name? He saw me a couple of times, and I was pulling straight tricks. He always used the same name, Smith. I don't believe you. was a lousy tipper. It's harder the more times it's fired. If I had anything on him, I'd tell you. And it gets a lot more painful the closer I get. What's up, Doc? Oh, you're a waskily wabbit. But you're not waskily enough. Yeah? That's a sick shooter. I just counted six shots. You've blown your load. <laughs> Your nine millimeter is empty, too. Yeah, you fired eight on the rooftop, one in the men's room, and your second cartridge was expended at the playground. 
And you won't be getting it up with that gum you took off my man. Oh. Well, you see, like my weapon, it also has the thumbprint safety device. Oh, really? One of that. Nothing like a good hand job. Get your things. We're going. Ma non ci posso credere, ma è possibile che ogni volta che ti vedo c'è un problema. Ma in che accidenti di casino mi trovo per colpa tua? Mi spieghi? Ma mi ascolti? I don't understand a word you're going on about, but I know exactly what you're saying and I refuse to apologize. Damn you, Smith. I could have been snuffed back there. Hey, you should be thanking me for saving your sweet back door. Why did you wait so goddamn long? You're a bad girl. You deserve to be punished. Which car do you want? What? I'm tired of walking. Look at this. Want to know the difference between this luxury car and a porcupine? I give up. With a car that pricks on the inside. Tell me about it. Hello, honey. Oh, good, good. I'm glad. I'm glad you're. Listen, sweetie, I've, uh, I've run into a small hitch. I think I'm gonna have to be out here for a while longer. But don't, don't worry. I will be back in time for Timmy's birthday party, I swear to you. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye. So what was I supposed to do? These guys were stalking this pregnant lady. I couldn't just stand there. You see that? I fucking hate that. What? This guy changing lanes without signaling. I mean, how hard is it to use your signal? So you started shooting at them? No, I don't carry a piece. I went to the woman, she had a gun. They started firing, I shot back. He's done it again. I moved my finger one inch to use my turn signal. Why are these assholes so lazy they can't move their finger one fucking measly inch to drive more safely? You want to know why? Not particularly. Because these rich bastards have to be callous and inconsiderate in the first place to make all that money, so when they get on the road, they can't help themselves. They've got to be callous and inconsiderate drivers, too. It's in their nature. Why don't you take the baby to the police? I can't go to the police. Why not? I'm the Unibomber. They caught the Unibomber. That's what they think. Stupid. Right. That's it. <laughs> Angriest man in the world. If I remember right, you used to like it like that. Well, how many freelancers have you got? Huh? How many local boys? I need men, you understand? I need a lot more men. Four mags, a box of nine millimeter 147 hollow points, and give me 50 FMJs. You're a little short. You lied. You said you had $5,000. How about we make up the difference with food stamps? You want to buy bullets with food stamps? It's as good as cash. You're pathetic, Smith. We'll wait for you outside. Look, why don't I sign over this check I got at the blood bank to you and more than cover it? Throw in that check you got from the sperm bank and got yourself a deal. I don't get that check till Wednesday. <laughs> Listen, why don't you take a half a box of shells and I'll give you the other half when you bring me the rest of the money on Wednesday. Deal.
What are you doing? Making some money. Making some money? Yeah, to buy something for the baby. Something for the baby? A bulletproof vest is a better investment than a crib. Makes me think what you do to get him in the right school. So this is it. It's not the Ritz, but it's home. Same old Smith. Down and dirty. Glad you like it. Say hello to Mickey. Maybe I should take the baby to the police. No, you'd never make it. They'll be watching all the precincts. Probably got some of the boys in blue on payola, too. I rounded up 50 guys. Well, I guess that's just gonna have to do, huh? Stop the car. He was here. Come on, what makes you think he was here? Trust me, I know what people do and I know what people think. I always have. Even as a kid, I had this gift. Uh, you should have seen the playground hurt I laid down playing rock, paper, scissors, buddy. Now stop the car. Who do you think wants this baby dead? I have no idea who's trying to kill it. Don't call him an it. It's an it to me. Tell me, Smith, is there anything you like? Yeah, my privacy. Tell me something I don't know per una volta, brutto figlio di puttana bastardo. I love it when you talk like that. Can I offer you anything? Carrot? It's good for your eyesight. Bulb squats in the city. How does he know Smith's in this one? Another lucky guess? Nah, he doesn't guess. He sees things we don't. He was once an FBI profiler. Forensic behavior consultant. Oh my God. How many times do I have to tell you guys details? Make all the difference in this business. Hey, but... Don't you think you should hang back, sir? The leader who stays in the rear takes it in the rear. Besides, violence is one of the most fun things to watch. Shh, shh, shh. No, 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 baby, no. We could call him Oliver. Oliver? Yeah, like Oliver Twist. Because he's an orphan? Because I like the book. You like the book? I didn't hate it. That's a first. I should go with here. Uh, cute and cuddly? Or the one that says, you're becoming a man now, son. Yeah. So, Mr. Hertz, mm -hmm. how old is your son? He's eight. Then it had to be large and powerful and... Can you believe it? There's nothing on the TV about any of this. <laughs> Roadside bomb wounded. We have it, you know? Hey, do you notice that? Notice what? Look, lame-ass politician rants about gun control. He cries. So tonight. Switch to this channel with this heavy metal music. He shuts up. That's so weird. You must find it comforting. 
Yes, sir. Yeah. Men are in place in the roof. That's good. Anybody know what a Jimmy Cagney love scene is? Hmm? It's where Cagney lets the good guy live. <laughs> <laughs> and if that happens in this show, I'm gonna do a lot more than ask for my money back. All right? Let's kill this mother. Go. It doesn't surprise me that Oliver's into death metal. Look at his surrogate parents. No. I'm telling you, this means... Go, back one! Is this guy really that good? Come on, boys! He ain't out of the briar patch yet! What is it? It's a baby's diaper. This idea blows, Smith. It's the only idea we've got. You actually think that Oliver's mother lived near a heavy metal club and that he could hear the music while he was still inside the womb? Yep, that's why he doesn't cry when he's listening to some headbangers bash. Ridiculous. Well, he isn't crying now. 
So this is the only club near where I encountered the baby's mother. I still say this is a wild hunch. Yes, yeah, so how do you explain all these boxes of diapers? Somebody's been stalking us. Let's find out who. You're the owner of this place. Who's that asking? I am. Uh... Can I buy you a drink? No. No! No! Just as I suspected. You really is into jewelry. No! No! Who occupies the room upstairs? Go to hell! Don't mess with me. You ain't got the cojones. Oh! Oh, God! So who are these guys? I rented the place to some suit 11 months ago. I, they paid the whole year in cash. I, I never saw them again. I just figured they were used the back way. Oh. Read it. Sir, it's your go-to guy. All the mothers have been killed. Only one escaped, temporarily. We found her body and confirmed that she did deliver a child. The babies were supposed to be delivered covertly. I guess setting up this maternity factory on top of a heavy metal club wasn't particularly secret. What a fine lot of babysitters we turned out to be. When Mr. Go-to guy passes, head to the left. Yes, sir. I already made the call. Backup should be arriving any minute. Clean this mess up and try to piece together everything that happened. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your confidence. Gentlemen, let's find some answers. Watch where you step. The ice cream is melting. What? I thought Donor's sperm was your department. These freezers are full of samples. This is weird. There seems to be only one donor. One donor? Yeah, and a generous one at that. This is bone marrow blood. It must be for some kind of cure. How do you know that, Smith? You didn't hear about my Nobel Prize. It's hard to find marrow that matches that of the recipient. The odds are much better if the donor marrow shares the same DNA with the person receiving it. You mean these people were harvesting babies for some guy's bone marrow transplant? Exactly. And somebody wanted to make sure he didn't get it. That's why they want Oliver dead. So I called that guy I know at NBC. That's good. And then I got to thinking, you know what I hate? Here we go again. I hate those lame action movies where the good guy calls just one person who ends up betraying him. Yeah, that's right up there with killing baby seals. I called ABC, CBS, The Post, The Times, the local news channel, and the FBI. So, 
What do we do next? I figure we hang here and watch the news. Once the story goes public, maybe we'll be safe. Look, we finally went to sleep. Yeah, you just wait. The moment you close your eyes for a nap, you'll start screaming. You can't take little pleasure in anything, can you? You just hate everything. I don't hate you. Is that why you picked me? You know why I picked you. You have no idea what you've done to me. We're gonna get out of this, trust me. You just don't get it. What? You bring me this child so I can feed him, take care of him. A baby that could be dead at any moment. And you never even think to ask me what happened to my own child. If I say I'm sorry, will you tell me what that means? Eggs have no business dancing with stones. It's called a gun. Grip, slide, breach, barrel, trigger. Now this is the business end. You should never point this at anything you don't intend to kill. Now this is important. This is called your safety. You have to keep this on to make sure the gun doesn't go off accidentally. But really, this is your number one safety.
shooting you a lot. Look at this. This is a Hamilton night tag. These aren't supposed to hit the streets for six months. This is weird. All these guys have got it. Don't even tell me. Do you know how many of our men he's bloody bagged now? Why should I waste my beautiful mind on something like that? Doesn't it piss you off a little? Getting angry releases an enzyme, tryptophan hydroxylase, which can temporarily reduce the IQ. That's something I can't afford to do right now. How do you know all that? My boy's hooked on the Discovery Channel. Take me west side. I need to report in. I got a bead on who our Mr. Hero is. No more arguments. I have to do this alone, and the only way I can do it is if I'm positive you two are okay. This is the only place I know you'll be safe. Tank? An M24 tank. You'll be safe from gunfire and most explosives. You're whacked. I am. I'm also serious. But nobody's allowed to get in it. Don't worry. When I create a diversion, you climb inside. You should have enough of that baby food to last you a couple of days. The uh, pureed carrots are the best. Now you know how to use this, right? Yes, but what if you don't come back? That's not gonna happen. There is no way to be sure. Yes, there is. I am going to spank you! Stop whining! Stop it! I hate it when parents hit their children. Let go of my arm! Not until you stop hitting your kid. I will discipline my child as I see fit. How would you like it if I spanked you? Ow! Ow! See? Ow! Doesn't feel so good, does it? Ow! 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 What the hell do you think you're doing? All star ground powder. Well, anybody this good had to start out young. And it's usually because their pop was good at it, too. You know, like MacArthur's dad was a general. And Mickey Mantle's father played pro ball. My son is a video game whiz, and I wasn't too bad at Pong myself. <laughs> Just follow me, if you will, Mr. Hamilton. In 67, the Limeys got hard ass on gun control. So a lot of Brit gunsmiths moved to the States. Now, I've got an inside man at immigration working on which of these guys had sons. And if any of the boys were crack shots. I think the pucker fact is getting to you. You got diddly! Yes, Duchess, you're a good girl. Sit. Yes, now's your treat. Now you get My your man treat. has been running the name down, and he recalls one of these gunsmith kids, actually. National sports pistol champion at age 10, Olympic hopeful, recruited by the Army. But after that, the kid is never heard from again. Well, that sounds like Black Ops got him, trained him. This leads me to a theory. Theory? Theory is bull nookies. All you got is a man with no name, riding into town on a pale horse, dispensing his own brand of justice. You know why people in this country love guns? 
And it's got nothing to do with all that. Phallic mumbo jumbo like cock in your gun. No, Hertz. People love guns because America is a land of opportunity where a poor man can become rich. And a pussy can become a tough guy if he's got a gun in his hand. I'm hoping you're not just a pussy with a gun in your hand. Oh, no, sir, no. No, I'm not. I'm a tough guy with a pussy in my hand. Hmm. <laughs> I want you to give this guy and the kid a dirt nap. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Shh. Amor mio. Don't worry. Daddy will be back soon. Mr. Bunny, you just keep going, 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 don't you? So do you. I promise to, uh, to spare your life if you tell me where the woman and child are. Forget it. Say Black Ops, CIA, the Army. Well, whoever. It seems you haven't lost your aim, champ. You think that's good? You should see me spell my name in the snow. <laughs> hey, you know, my boss here thinks that you're the Lone Ranger or something. But I believe I have a better idea about who you are. I found out how your wife and son were killed. My God, what a tragedy. Some guy walks into a burger joint. He starts shooting up the place. Oh, my God, what a shame that your wife and son were there having their chicken nuggets. What's the matter? You don't like that story? Well, then why don't you tell me one, hmm? Children's story, please. Oh, I know. Tell me my favorite, yeah. Tell me the one about the baby. Maybe later. When I put you to sleep. Go, go! Think of the Second Amendment now. Something! Okay, buddy. Drop your weapon.
found out he's trying to kill our baby. Who? A man named Hammerson. Born with a silver spoon up his ass. Inherited the Hammer Firearms Corporation from his old man and makes millions manufacturing weapons. Does this give you any new ideas about who needs Oliver's bone marrow? No. It's okay, little Oliver. Shit. It's him, Senator Rutledge. If he's elected president, he'll put Hammerson out of business. It makes sense, but how can you be sure? Mr. Goat, a guy called his man a final of babysitters, the Secret Service calls their agents who guard VIPs babysitters. It's him, Senator Rutledge. He's the guy that needs this baby. So we contact this man, and then we're safe. It's over. Are you crazy? This means that we've got Hammerson and the whole of the US government after us. I think you two have got to get out of town. Until I get the answers, you'll never be safe. They'll be watching the trains, the bus stations, and the airports. So I think this is the safest way to get out of town. I'm going to check all of this out, and if everything's OK, I'll get you before you board the bus. But what if you don't get to us before we leave? Where should I get off? I think it's better if I don't know. What? Trust me. I can't know. Smith, do you really think this is going to work? You stick to the plan, and everything will be all right. So much for wearing your seatbelt. Son of a bitch. Oh, that sick son of a bitch suckered us again! It's time to go, little boy. Put me through to whoever's protecting Senator Rutledge. 
Just tell him there's a man with a baby calling. Hello, is this Smith? That was a nice job covering up your baby hatchery downtown. Not a word about it anywhere. Only you guys in Washington have that kind of pull. I'm telling you, we're on the same side. Now, listen, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. I want to see the senator. All right. He wants to see you, too. He's leaving for North Carolina the primaries in three days. You can fly with him. Runway seven, two hours. I see anything I don't like. I'm blowing this big time. What were you doing in there? Cleaning my gun. Really? You know we were never really trying to kill you. We only wanted to scare you into surrendering. Well, that's one way to explain why you can't shoot straight. In the latest poll, Senator Rutledge continues to be the Democratic frontrunner headed into the next race. I owe you my life. So this is where you get to do all those hookers. <coughs> I heard about you. You look worse than you do on TV. <laughs> yes, it's amazing what a little makeup can do. And a lot of morphine. So, you've pieced the whole thing together. Very clever, Mr. Smith. Very clever. Simple. You're the Democratic frontrunner for president, and your sweeping gun control proposals are pissing the wrong people off. Yes, well, if they're pissed now, wait until I'm elected president. We got so many goddamn gun lobbies out there that we're going to have to set up just as many commissions. Then maybe we'll get our bill passed in the first year. Unfortunately, you're sick and the gun nuts is found out. They discovered your baby hatchery and boom, problem solved. They kill you by killing the babies. Correct. So where's my savior? You know what I hate most? Elias. What the hell are you doing? You made a deal with Hammerson. No, you're crazy. Am I? When you got into bed with him, you also let his dog up on the mattress. Looking at those dog hairs on your trousers, I'd say old Duchess took a liking to you. I don't know what you're talking about. Save the line for when you're in office, Rutledge. If he ever makes it there. Do you know what else I hate? <laughs> Hypocrites. And you're the biggest one of all. Do you blame him for selling out? His operation to find the baby had been tits up from the get-go. You see, Rutledge called us and he offered us a proposition that we had never dreamed was possible. In exchange for his life, the Senator promised to protect our right. To go deer hunting with an Uzi. Oh, come on, Smith, come on. Guns don't kill people, but they sure help. Back up! Back up! Back up or I'll kill him! Oh, please! I had to do it. I want to leave. I am meant to be president. Yeah, well, you got what it takes. You put yourself before the people. I can still do good in other areas. How are you going to square it with the public? It is, it is a constitutional right. Back off! Get back! I've come around to their way of thinking. Come around. They had you at hello. <laughs> Let me give you a piece of advice. Never trust the people who stand to profit, plain and simple. They're the bad guys. Come on, Smith, don't be a fool. The game is over. You rolled the dice. You lost. Maybe not for me, but there is for the woman and baby. If I kill Rutledge, no one will need to find them. They'll be saved. Your assassination, Rutledge, will create a public outrage and trigger immense support for your proposals. The sympathy vote in the Congress will give your anti-gun bills passage by a landslide. Your legacy will live on. Don't do it! Then do it. Let me regain some honor with my
Mr. Hero. Can't talk right now, honey. I'm right in the middle of something. Bye-bye. Duchess, this isn't gonna happen to you. Not for a few years, anyway. <laughs> well, 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 well. Somebody gets to be smart, and somebody gets to be dumb. Looks like you and I have finally traded places, huh, sport? <laughs> yes, indeed. The circle of life. The circle jerk of life. Oh, you have such a way with words. I want you to tell me where the woman and the child are. Tell me, or I will be forced to cause you considerable agony. Believe me, nothing could be more painful than listening to you jabbering on and on. woman and child. Oh, that's the last time you'll be doing that. No! Just tell me what I want to hear. It's your choice when the pain stops. Why are you doing this? It's over. It shortly it will be. You know, I really should thank you. I just got a bigger contract because of you. I mean, I wasn't just on... Hammerson's payroll, you know. What are you babbling on about now? You really think the people that employ me were just gonna bend over and take your little stunt killing the senator? There's no way that you can cover up this whole thing. Oh. Haven't you heard the news? Hmm? The senator's plane crashed into the East River. They haven't been able to find the body of Senator Rutledge. So you see, once I silence you and the woman, the cover-up will be complete. So once again, I ask you, where are the woman and child? You know how I break your finger? <laughs> My boy told me this one. You'd punch me in the nose. I'd kick you in the ass. <laughs> Very amusing. I give that one the old thumbs up! What if you didn't get to us before we leave? Oh, I know your whole story. That man who went on the shooting spree in the restaurant. He visited the little gun shop that you inherited from Found out how your wife you sold him the pair of shotguns. You killed your own wife and boy. Oh. I'm not telling you a goddamn thing. Oh. Where are you, Smith? Well, 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 well. We're gonna need something a little more invasive.
gun's just fucking great. Have a second. Sorry, Bob, it certainly has been a pleasure. But before we part ways, tell me one thing. I am dead on about who you are, right? Say that again? I said I am dead... Stop! De that part of it, you go right. I really hate. Body of Senator Rutledge today. The FBI stated an anonymous tip led them to remains. Mama will be watching you while she's working.
Everyone else freeze! Don't I'll fucking pull your head off! He said freeze! That means don't even pucker your butthole! That's right, no puckering, nobody dies, so don't fucking move! Come in a rush here, and come on! You know what I hate? Shut up and sit on this asshole! That's right, you heard him! Oh. Yeah.